fill frame and fits a frame are both features in Premiere Pro that will automatically adjust the size of your footage to the dimensions of the sequence you're working in. The fits a frame feature will adjust your video to fit within the dimensions of your sequence while also keeping your video's original aspect ratio. A scenario where you will use this option is when working with multiple clips in your timeline that have different dimension sizes, and you want to quickly change the size of these clips to the dimensions of your sequence. My sequence here is 1920 by 1080, and I currently have 4K footage in my sequence that I want to fit within the dimensions of 1920 by 1080. Highlight the clips in the timeline by lassoing over them, and you can either right click on any of the highlighted clips and click on fit to frame or go to the properties panel. And if you don't see the properties panel, go to the window tab and click on properties. Then click on the fit icon. Now all of my 4K footage is automatically scaled down to fit into the dimensions of my 1920 by 1080 sequence. And if you're in a situation where you have a 1920 by 1080 sequence, and the footage in your timeline is at a lower resolution, like 1280 by 720, you would take the same steps of highlighting the clips in the timeline and then go to the properties panel and click on the fit icon. And these clips will now be scaled up to fit the dimensions of our 1920 by 1080 sequence. Now the fill frame feature will scale your video to completely fill the frame of your video in the timeline. But what makes this feature different is that the fill frame feature in many situations will alter your video's original aspect ratio to fit within the dimensions of your sequence, which can lead to pixelating your video. For example, my sequence here is 1920 by 1080, and I currently have 9 by 16 social media clips in the timeline that are in the ratio of 1080 by 1920. Highlight the clips in the timeline and either right click on it and click on fill frame or go to the properties panel and click on fill and you will see that the fill feature will completely fill up the frame but as you can see it has zoomed in way too far into our footage to preserve the footage original aspect ratio i would always use fit to frame instead of fill frame and this is the difference between fit to frame and fill frame in premiere pro 2025 like and subscribe for more premiere pro tutorials and i'll see you on the next one